The response surface production mechanism in the ANSYS Workbench software optimization section has six different types. The type number five is called neural network. The neural network model represents a mathematical technique based on natural neural networks in the human brain. The structure of this neural network model is such that each of the input parameters or inputs is connected to the weights by arrows, which determine whether the hidden functions are active or inactive. Hidden functions are the same as threshold functions that are connected or disconnected to the desired output function based on a set of input parameters and finally each time the process is repeated these weight functions are set to minimize the error between response surfaces or output functions with design points or inputs this algorithm consists of input parameters hidden functions and output functions in general, the features of the neural network model are as follows. The response surface production mechanism in the ANSYS Workbench software optimization section has six different types. Which the last type of the response surfaces is sparse grid. The sparse grid is a kind of adaptive response surface. That is, it can constantly correct itself. This model usually requires more uh, design points than other methods of creating response surfaces and therefore is used when the model simulation process is fast. This model will be usable when the sparse grid initialization design method is used to generate design points in the experimental environment. The feature of this model is that it uh, modifies the design points only in the required directions. For this reason, fewer design points are needed to achieve the same quality response surface. This model is also suitable for, ca uh, for cases involving multiple discontinuities. This figure shows the behavioral pattern of uh, a scattered network model and how the this figure shows the behavioral pattern of a sparse grid model and how the interpolation within it as shown below the first cell is located on the top left and has a design point by tracking cells in a horizontal and vertical direction, we see changes in the cell and its design points. The peak shape indicates the interior of a design point uh, resulting from the two design points on either side of the cell. And the throw mark indicates the division of one cell into several other cells at the design point. Now, if we follow the path of changes of a cell and its design points in the horizontal direction, we see that first we have a cell with a design point in the middle of it, then that cell from the design point in the horizontal direction is divided to the two half cells. The new design points of these two half cells are placed on its borders, then interpolation is made between the two cell boundaries and new design points are created in the middle of these boundaries. And as a result, two design points are created in the middle of the two cells. Again, the new cell divides from the location of each of the two design points to the other two half cells in the horizontal direction and the same procedure continues in the horizontal direction according to the figure all the steps mentioned in the horizontal direction are done with the same procedure in the vertical direction master cfd experts are ready for doe analysis consulting training and cfd simulation to benefit from master cfd services including simulation 
consultation and training. Contact our experts via info at